Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy Sasha Sims and I'm taking you inside KSC. NASA's Associate Administrator Steve Jersick and Deputy Associate Administrator Melanie Saunders engaged and encouraged employees during a town hall session at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The agency's senior leaders provided an update on the exploration campaign, current missions, and NASA's operating model initiatives. Calling it a huge opportunity, Jersik said NASA is committed to meeting the mandate of returning American astronauts to the moon and on to Mars. He also praised Kennedy employees for their skill, dedication, and accomplishments in the face of upcoming challenges. Last week, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine gave the keynote address at Florida Tech's Space Technology Day. Students, faculty, engineers, area business leaders, and members of the media attended the event at the Melbourne campus. While there, Bridenstine announced the award of Gateway's power and propulsion element to Maxar Technologies based in Colorado. Gateway will serve as an orbiting outpost for astronauts as we put the first woman and the next man on the surface of the moon in 2024. Boeing's CST-100 Starliner propulsion system was put to the test at NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico in support of NASA's commercial crew program. Teams ran multiple tests on Starliner's in-space maneuvering systems and launch abort system. Starliner will launch on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. As commercial crew providers, Boeing and SpaceX will begin to make regular flights to the space station. NASA will continue to advance its mission to go beyond low Earth orbit and establish a human presence on the moon with the ultimate goal of sending astronauts to Mars. And remember, Spaceport Magazine digs deeper inside KSC.